Om Shanti and welcome back to your own channel and here we're going to talk about the 35th day of the beautiful blessing and this blessing is reminding us it's a comparison between an army which goes ahead and regains back its ground its country it fights for its country and this spiritual army which tries to fight the war which is within not the worldly war but the war within so how god is trying to differentiate and compare both the different fights is been mentioned in all our scriptures that those who die in the land of war are the ones who go to heaven if you remember that it's written in gita it's written in quran it's written in bible that those who find victory during war or those who leave the body during war are the ones who go to heaven or the are the ones who attain that atonement of going to heaven but what exactly is that which war is that have we missed out something is there something that we are missing out which war so god the father he comes down on earth during the complete kali yuga or the complete degradation of the world where friends are no more friends they back biting when brothers are no more brothers they fighting for the wealth when there is complete dismay when people are cheating each other in relationships when there's rape cases happening all over the world that is what is it is all about the draupadi chiraran right the remember the mahabharata you will remember everything this is the mahabharata time going so baba says in this beautiful vardan may you be constantly victorious by experiencing the father's company god father's company he is the one who is the leader of this complete spiritual army he is the warlord which war the spiritual war the war within he doesn't teach the war of killing each other the brothers and sisters because all of us are his children so how can he come and and teach us that you have to kill the other person who's a korav and you are the pandav no it's not about killing it's about killing the enemy within if there is no enemy within then the enemy outside can do you no harm think about it if there is no greed within then no greedy person can harm you if there is no anger within no angry person can harm you imagine the enemy within so that's the war baba says may you be constantly victorious by experiencing the father's company instead of being afraid and retreating from the battle let's go into the depth of it soldiers in the army have the slogan it is an act of the weak to de- to be defeated or to retreat never accept defeat a soldier means to die or to kill remember that you spiritual soldiers are not those who are who are afraid you are those who constantly move forward and become victorious in what the inner fight never think for how long much longer are we going to battle in this spiritual journey also in brahma kumaris many of them they leave brahma kumaris why because it becomes difficult for them to accept the fact that i'll ever be able to overcome anger or greed or jealousy this is very natural it's human nature but baba says that is not your human nature that you have imbibed over many births you forgotten your first birth remember hey arjun you forgotten your births who you were when i created you i created you so pure and sent you on to this earth but over a period of time you imbibed the bad things just like a 24 karat gold imbibes all the nickel and cadmium and many more things materials and its purity decreases from 24 karat and goes down 22 18 and so down same way we souls also become became pure to impure we have imbibed anger greed ego jealousy and we thought that that's natural for us Now imagine baba comes down and he teaches us no children that's not natural you have to fight and that's the war which you have to fight within by meditating on me take my power take my energy and i will help you to overcome it that's what we learn about meditation so baba says never think for how much longer are we going to battle this is a matter of your whole life the whole life we have to fight over it because we have done so many bad karmas you never know by the age of 60 or 70 you might meet somebody who comes and says well give me the money well that's my house and that's where our hisab kitab 
or the karmic account has to be settled. So it's lifelong battle. And at that time, if you get angry or pissed off, then you have lost the battle, the internal battle. This is a matter of your whole life. But in terms of the reward of 5,000 years, imagine, Baba says this whole cycle is of 5,000 years. Golden age, silver age, 2,500 years. Copper age, iron age, 2,500 years. Thin, rat, day and night. Day is heaven, night is hell on earth. So Baba says you want to go to that light, you want to go towards that day, then this battle is not a very big thing. It's a very small thing. You have to be victorious. You never retreat because your attainment is very big. You're going to the day. So it's an internal jihad, internal battle, internal victory, not with anybody else. So if the attainment is big, if a country is fighting back, its soldiers are fighting back to get back their line, land, how big is that? It's a very big thing. It's something which is very emotional. So they fight for it. They never accept defeat. Similarly, we are fighting for heaven. We are fighting for Bahisht. We are fighting for Jannat. And for that, the victory has to be internal. Victory over greed, lust, anger, jealousy and many more things. So it is a matter of a second as compared to that, this victory. Because you are earning 5,000 years of happiness and bliss. And just one lifetime, this one birth of complete victory over all these vices. We might fall, rise up, energize ourselves, retreat a little bit like a army retreats and it replenishes all its complete rations, all the weapons and all the bullets and everything and it, it adds on extra members. We might also retreat. We fought in anger. We became angry. Suddenly a situation came for our one year you were not angry, you were not feeling so much of anger and suddenly a situation comes and you start feeling angry. Somebody just pinches you and pinches your ego and you become egoistic. You fall, you retreat, you meditate more and then you learn this knowledge more and then again you fight. You get back into the land of the war. So you never leave the land of war. You are always into it. Simply have an unlimited intellect. That's what Baba is saying. See the attainment which you have. And look at it in an unlimited way, not a small way. And become victorious with the father's remembrance and his company. You can only be victorious when you are with a leader. Remember? So he's the leader of this complete war. He's teaching us how to be in Yudh, Mahabharata. Yudh was the youth of not killing of Kaurav. The Kaurav means killing of the dirtiness within. Not any human being needs to be killed. God doesn't teach his one child to kill the other child. That's not what is God's work which we have seen in Mahabharata. That's not what he came to teach us. It was depicted in a wrong manner. The real manner was to fight over our own evil. Now how will you show your own evil? So for that they showed Kauravs and Pandavs or the good army and the bad army. So if you understand this beautiful, beautiful blessing, then you'll understand how important it is to meditate and be in God's company so that our mind which has become dull and impure recognizes this war and understands that it needs to be one, now or never. I leave you with this beautiful blessing. Om Shanti. Take care.